Well, the red eye is officially broken. Yep, it's broken. Kept here in a clunk underneath the car. Uh, I'll do another video, but just gonna go down here real quick to see if I can show you. Anyway, that's go to the other side. But kept here in a clunk under the back seat. I thought maybe my speaker box was moving or something. Not so, you know. And I'm driving back in the highway. I could feel a vibration when you hit a, you know, maybe 60, 70. You can feel a vibration in the car. I said something, either the tires are bad. Maybe a rim needs to be balanced. But um, let me see if I can show you here. Put a light up in here. There we go. That's the carrier bearing. Let's put a little light up here. And let me see if I can make it move. Watch this. Yep, yeah, that's broken. So it's just bouncing around in there. There's nothing holding the, the, the drive shaft in the center. So the dealership said they can get it back to me maybe the end of September. I ain't waiting until the end of September to drive my car. So I just ordered the solid drive shaft. From here, it swivels here. It's a straight drive shaft. Might have to modify this part of the exhaust. I'm not sure yet. Thankfully, it didn't ruin the transmission because that's where it goes. Um, the older school ones would have a yoke at the end and you could actually snap the tail on the transmission. But these newer ones, it's got a bushing in there. It's pretty stable. But still, the thing's bouncing around like no tomorrow up in here. I, I just couldn't believe that's what it is. I mean, look at that. All right, I won't make this video too long. But anyway, I got the new one coming. It's like 1400 and some dollars. But a new one, I'm not going to wait for the drive shaft to come in. Well, don't forget, like, subscribe, and share. Just figure I share this with you. Oh. Really could use a lift under there. But, yeah, we'll be back.